the breakaway and subsequent grounding of all products tanker CSC Friendship in the Port of Brisbane highlights that port infrastructure and associated shipping can be exposed to dynamic hazards, which includes the inherent uncertainty of extreme weather forecasts. On the evening of the 27th of February 2022, South East Queensland and the Port of Brisbane were in the grip of a significant weather and flooding event that exceeded initial forecasts. The Brisbane River was in flood, with the downriver current increasing as rain continued to fall and large volumes of water continued to enter the river. CSC Friendship was berthed at the Ampole Products Wharf in the river and had completed loading of about 32,000 tonnes of petroleum products bound for other Australian ports. Shortly before 11pm, the downriver current was flowing at 4.5 knots when CSC Friendship's mooring arrangement capability was exceeded. Mooring lines parted, winch brakes slipped and the ship surged down the wharf. Despite the efforts of the ship's crew, including the release of the outboard anchor and the swift attendance of two tugs, the ship broke away from the wharf. The current swept the ship across the channel and it grounded 400 metres downstream on the opposite side of the river. Just after 1am the next day, following a request from the Brisbane Vessel Traffic Service, a port pilot boarded the ship to assist recovery. The ship remained fast aground until it refloated at 5am. During the subsequent pre-tug recovery, an attempt was made to retrieve the anchor. Heaving in the anchor led the ship veering across the channel and grounding on the other side, downstream of the wharf and close to Clara Rock, a charted hazard. The anchor was then slipped and the ship manoeuvred clear of Clara Rock. Subsequently, the pilot safely conducted the ship downriver into Moreton Bay, where it anchored. The ATSB found that while deteriorating conditions exceeded those initially forecast, the associated increased safety risk to shipping and the port was foreseeable in the days leading up to the incident. The Bureau of Meteorology had issued numerous warnings of the impending event, spanning the Greater Brisbane River catchment area almost a week prior to the incident, which provided sufficient information to identify and assess the increased likelihood of a breakaway. The current in the river exceeded operational limits for both the berth and the ship's mooring arrangements for more than 14 hours prior to the breakaway. The investigation identified that Maritime Safety Queensland, MSQ, did not have a formalised emergency management process that was able to adequately assess and respond to the developing flooding risk. Also, that Poseidon Sea Pilots, the port's pilotage provider, had not considered the predictable risks due to the increased river flow properly and hence was not able to take an active role until after the breakaway. It was also found that Ampole, the wharf operator, had not considered the risk to the ship or the wharf due to the increased river flow. MSQ has subsequently made significant changes, incorporating a combination of procedural, response and capital improvements to better improve collaborative planning for and response to extreme weather events. Further, MSQ now requires pilots to complete simulator training for manoeuvring ships in high water current conditions. Despite the introduction of these measures, the ATSB believes more needs to be done by MSQ with respect to its risk management processes to manage emergencies. Therefore, the ATSB has issued a recommendation to MSQ to take further safety action. Poseidon Sea Pilots has collaborated with MSQ to develop emergency evacuation procedures to respond to increased river flow, among several other safety actions. Ampol has developed a Product Wharf Safe Operating Envelope document, which specifies wharf operational limits and response actions for varying wind and river speeds. A port's dynamic environment involves many factors, including wind, current, tides and shipping traffic. Sometimes these dynamic conditions create hazards and risks which endanger both ships and other port infrastructure like wharves, jetties and bridges. Managing these risks involves having procedures and plans which have been clearly documented. Port authorities and pilotage providers and others can then use this documented framework to apply to the dynamic conditions for the most effective response possible. You can read the final report by searching MO-2022-003 on the ATSB's website by the link provided below or via the link in our bio.